Today, some important members of the settlement are going to show us the properties that so many laboratories claim to have discovered. The most surprising thing is to see how these Catholic natives blend such a pagan ritual with the symbol of the cross that hangs from their necks. The frogs were captured this evening, but without hurting them. They cannot live in captivity, however, or they will die. They stop producing their magical alchemy when they lose their freedom. Under a tree, with a gas lamp, they are heating up some wooden needles, which they will use to scratch their wrists. This is where the frog poison will penetrate the body through osmosis. Three minutes are enough to notice the effects. Yatul squeezes the parotid glands of the animal, as if it were a tube of medicine. He administers the doses to his friends, who have Spanish names, but dark native skin like his. Slowly, Angelo, Manuel and Benito begin to succumb to the power of the frog venom. We are attending the same ritual that some biologists sent here by multinational pharmacy companies witnessed a few months ago, according to what the villagers have told us. They paid them less than two dollars for each frog and took away two sacks full. <laughs> its purpose is not just to obtain the hallucinogenic effect. The natives use the frogs when they have serious headaches, chronic pains, or diarrhea. It is an efficient remedy, and mothers also give it to their children for certain illnesses. The dosage is calculated by the adults, since they know that more than three scratches on the wrist could kill them. For some, this frog is the end of laziness, apathy. You're up, you feel strong, you feel happy. You have only made one scratch. But they have told us that there are people who make more than one, more scratches. Could a person die from many of them? If you make many scratches this way, you die, for sure, because it's a very strong poison. At, at first my head hurt, then my head seemed to be flying. And then, then my stomach began to, to turn and feel really strange until finally I, I, well, I threw up. In, in just a few minutes, it was over. And now I feel much better. I feel very strong and happy. And now I feel much, much better. After this lesson in natural medicine, just another one on environmental education, the frogs are set free. Thou shalt not kill is the only command that fully coincides with their culture. Los indígenas, eh,